Jungle motherfucking beats. That's what it is. That's what it is. And we released a uh, reaction to uh, Pink Eyes Pink season that w- a- blew up in a lot of ways more Yo. than our expectations. Yo, completely. For us, completely. Um, that's our version so of it. So big thank you to you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 100%. For everyone from the positive to to the to the more negative, yeah, like we really negative, appreciate man. every single person Everything. who commented, viewed it. Um, now, for those who don't know, I wasn't familiar with any of uh, Pink Guy's work previously, yeah. so I came in with the expectations of taking the music seriously. We tricked him. Now I have a much thorough, more understanding, <laughs> thanks to you guys and him. And uh, uh, so now we're gonna actually react. As you guys per suggested to a handful of these songs, including Hoodrich, okay? We're gonna start off right from there. Pink Guy featuring Getta and Nick Coletti. Hoodrich, we're gonna have the music video with it. Um, hopefully, I get it right and uh, see what we think. Because yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. wanna know, so. Um, yeah, we give the people what they want. Now we got some context around him, let's hit it, alright? Hoodrich, Pink Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Yeah. I just fucked a bitch with another bitch. Put a knife to her throat and I took her shit. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers wanna get lit with the pink, but I tell her gotta let me put the finger in the stick. Yeah. I'm all about the zinc in the copper. Hey, 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 it's motherfucking get a bitch. Yeah, that I mean, I'm the fucking human green screen with the dead bitch. I'm not a real willy, but I let her just my dick down. Have I eat it with some dick? Rip a bit in two. Make her wonder why she didn't pass you. By putting your piece in the boot, she'll do just kidding. I'm on, always smoking, always on Twitter. I would actually listen to that again. That was fucking hard. And those verses were all pretty fucking good. Even though the guy was humping air for like the whole fucking time. Hey, bro. I fuck with that. I fuck with that, though. That's a fucking banger, bro. If he produced that... I think he produced that, didn't he? Um, Not 100%, but I know he does produce his stuff, so... Well, I hope if he so. did, that's... Production's there. The production's there. Thanks. His verses had the energy and no sort of like... Too much... They're still having fun in there and talking the odd few fucking catch it up. But it's like... It ain't joke rap in the in that sort of track. So. The features are there too. Really that good second features. Guy, that second guy was the best. Um, and then you come in with the morph suits and the Audi R8, right, you know? I didn't even know you could get brown morph suits. There you go. So we learning as well. <laughs> I'll fuck with that. Let's get to the next. All right. Reacting to Joji's Thumb. People recommended the song as well called Thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. It's a short thumb, one. Thumb. It's in like two minutes. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we think. This might be a karma joint. Get it. I've heard this by the way. It's so weird. Those the shitty attitudes that made me bitter after laughter. And I deeply regretted it. I take it. Right, this is all here. Same guy who's motherfucking kicked on. It blows your mind. It blows my mind. You know what that vibe's giving me? What? James Blake vibes. That's giving me fucking James Blake vibes. I knew you'd say that. James Blake, he for those who don't know... Him. is your favourite artist the, album. Well, The Colour and Anything was my favourite yeah. album of 2016. Yeah. So that's very high props for me to even say that, to put that even in the conversation. Mm. Um, but that was fucking beautiful. Mm. Especially how he finished that last half with that harmonising. It was really like... It was just like... It wasn't in your face, but it was in the background... And I think um, the way he layered that, ooh. I thought the build-up was great because the start with the, the simple the simple lines with the rhymes, mm. switched up with the rainfall, the glass shatter to the next bit, and then closed it. Like, I thought it was very well put in the three parts it was. I've actually, I'm familiar with that song because I've heard it before. Right. So I, I, I liked it the first time I heard it as well. Man, I would love a whole album of that. So would I. I don't know. If he has somehow done it, let us know. Yeah. Um, but, like, he's going to do him. He's going to do what the fuck he wants, but, I, but I'd still fucking love that because that is a beautiful song. It's funny how how diverse an artist can be. Yeah. How like how black and white creatively somebody can be mm. and can dive into those those light and darknesses of, of your kind of creative expression. Yeah. It's fascinating. Like you'd watch some of his videos and be like, is this man capable of this? But the thing is like most of us are capable of anything we put our minds to. I was watching a video of Joji on his YouTube channel, it was the first one I saw of him. I just clicked pretty much anything. 
and he was running in that round in that pink morph suit, just like scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> just like screaming at them. And these sounds I've never heard in my life, just making these crazy sounds. And um, I was just like, all right, it's like a fucking like the- yeah. Just I'm like, okay, oh, all right. So it's one of those videos. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but then we get to this, and it's uh, a dichotomy that um. I would love to sit down and have a conversation with him about. I would love to just, yeah, just sit down, good 15-minute conversation. Hey, jo- Joji, George, or Pink yeah. Season. I'd, I'd probably keep it professional, but just like if he's if he dropped in a few lines of stuff, I'd if roll with if it. If you're watching, uh, would love the opportunity um, to love sit to. down. Love what you do. And, and talk about this this whole music shit. Uh, and the next one we're going to have a look at it is uh, They Don't Understand. Give me a producer for an artist out there, man. Ocean. James Blake. Joey Badass would fucking feel like waves over this shit, man. Imagine Joey Badass blowing over this. It's elevator music. No. It is too. Yeah. It's beautiful elevator music. Beautiful. This is five star hotel at elevator music. <laughs> you know, you don't put this in a three star hotel. No. You're getting that, you're getting that elevator. You don't even need someone to massage you, but you're inspired. You're already there in your mind. Paradise. Guys, videos. He has a video called uh, Human Cake. What he does is he goes around getting body parts from famous YouTubers and putting them in a cake cookie and eating with a bunch of his friends. Getting drunk as well. Uh, he gets Anthony Fantano's toenails. He gets one of the famous YouTubers' skit. Uh, pubes. Wait, is it real? Is it real? Yes, it's real. He gets his ass blown. Yes. Yeah, toenails, pubes, spit, uh, urine. Puts it all in a cake and they eat it. You should also vomit cake, but they put all the ingredients into a man's mouth and he vomits into a doll and they eat it too. There's a reason this motherfucker's called Filthy Frank. Yeah. I mean, you go from um, using <laughs> people's, what would you call that? Extruments into a cake. <laughs> Human and then, condiments? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into making a cake and then you just hear this beautiful harmon it's just harmonizing with the music yeah. mm-hmm. so you just put that on the background on repeat yeah. for like an hour and then hear that shit in pink <laughs> season I still have like in those some of the tracks on pink oh yeah pink life got taken off spotify yeah. hilarious <laughs> like those I think who don't know ago. I mean it was up there for like a week <laughs> yeah I wonder if it's still on iMusic iMusic iTunes Apple Music? I wonder if it's still on Apple Music. iMusic. Fuck is iMusic. You didn't even call me out. I was like, is that... I was as soon as I said it, I just felt like it was, I was not in the right place. Did we listen to You Suck Charlie? No, we haven't. All right, we're just going to listen to one last one. One more. One more. You, we'll do. you Suck Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's going to be our introduction into Frank. And then we may go back to the very first Pink Eye album, depending on how we feel. Yeah, we know a lot of you want us to react to the uh, first self-titled album. As long as it's not 35. If it's 35 tracks, you can just go fuck yourself. (laughs) 40 (laughs) tracks. Um, Give us some time, please. Yeah, we've got... Stay tuned, you know. That's why why there's a subscribe button, so people can actually, uh, you know, make sure they keyed in. Otherwise, you know... These wounds got to heal. One video at a time. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know who Chloe Burbank is, um, but obviously this is an album that's he on mixtape he's creating. We're gonna be on that shit if it sounds anything like this. Those the few tracks, Thom and that track, and like they're just beautiful production. I, we didn't we just realized that there were singles off. Um, some a body of work he's creating mm. under his uh under Joji. So um we'll be on that. We'll be on that. Stay shit. tuned. Uh, Cuz this shit's good. Thanks for asking us to listen to it. Yeah. It's definitely open uh, my personally my uh interpretation and understanding of, of what type of artist Joji is, uh which is good to to hear the other side of the coin. Mm. I only had one perspective once I heard Pink Season. <laughs> <laughs> Once you look look at his YouTube channel, Filthy Frank, you, you get one side, but you got to look at the other side of the coin, and now I have. Mm. We have. And uh, I look forward to what he creates. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. Jungle Beats Radio. Hey. Jungle Beats! Holla at me. Ah! Oh!